Hello Hackaday. This is uh, this is my two-minute description of uh, how my project is connected to other other devices. Um, my project is Digitabulum. It's um, it's a motion capture glove. Uh, it's loaded with sensors. Um, it has two primary means of communicating with the world. Um, well, three if you count uh, count USB. But considering the device is wearable, it's, uh, I don't really consider that the connection mode. So this is uh, all of this is to scale, by the way. So this um, this is in uh, Roving Networks 42 HID. Um, so it's a pre-rolled Bluetooth module. It's connected to the CPU via the UART. So uh, the Bluetooth module is actually the less interesting thing. Um, over here on this Periwinkle PCB, um, I have these different uh, cutouts here. This one is where an IRDA receiver goes, and right here is for the IRDA transmitter. Uh, which is a pair of LEDs that are that are very high power. Um, I, I disqualified all of the existing off-the-shelf IRDA PHY transceivers, um, partially because their emitters weren't powerful enough, uh, but also because of the fact that the pre-rolled PHY uh, puts un unwanted constraints on what I can do with the IRDA peripheral. Uh, I also want to be able to to control pulse width modulated infrared devices, but. Um, I, I did this with the thought that I'd be co um, communicating hand, glove to glove without the intermediation of a host. Uh, so it's I'm hoping to be able to do quite a bit more with it than that. Um, but if both of those options are inadequate, well, all three of them, um, if those are inadequate for whatever reason, there's a GPIO uh, breakout here. So I've I've broken out an I2C bus and a single GPIO pin. Um, so that you could add things like a GPS or, or uh, a Wi-Fi module or NFC or whatever whatever else anyone else wanted to develop for. So that's that's my that's my two-minute pitch.